Hey, I'm Nick Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to PCM23 Lions episode 138. We continue on with the Jiro. We're going to finish the Jiro, make it a, just a two episode uh, part for this season. So, to make that happen, we have to bypass at least one mountain stage. And we're going to go ahead and do the earliest of the final run in of mountains so that it doesn't impact things as much. Now, theoretically, on paper, Arab's actually going to do better here because on the quick simulation, it does not take into account difficulty level. So if you're playing on normal, where when you go out and race and you get the 5% bonus, there's no bonus on the quick sim. If you're playing on hard, it's just standard. But if you're playing on extreme, that bonus does not apply to the quick sim. So the opposition does not gain a 5% bonus. So in theory, an 80 Mountain Arab with a plus four expected should do pretty dang well and quite possibly could finish in the top five. But he's not that good. <laughs> he is not that good. There's just too much talent in this field. Even a Venipole only managed to finish half a minute down, loses a little bit of his lead, but Arab loses one minute on the day. The reality is that's how good, good he is. So even just on paper. Uh, that is actually good enough to move up a spot. He is now 11th overall and equal with Hindley at 947 down. Lucas Wells is 10 seconds back. Uh, Palace, Stalker, Honore all losing time. And we are close to a top 9 position. A punchy stage 16 has played out like this with Arab getting that 5th place. Leading the Young Rider classification now. Hmm. We'll check in on that. He has, in fact, moved up into that ninth place, but we are two minutes behind anybody else ahead of us. And now that we're inside the top 10, even though we are 10 minutes behind a Venipole, uh, it is highly, highly unlikely that we would be allowed to go into a breakaway for the coming mountain stages, at least not with Arab. Samuels, yes, Samuels at 23rd could be allowed to go into a breakaway, could potentially gain three to four minutes and move well, well up the order. Uh, if we have a good race day condition for Samuels, I might just do that on one of the mountain stages to come. But of course, as he's not the leader, uh, there's an incredibly good chance that as I load up the stage, uh, he will be at the very back of the peloton yet again, and we might have a hard time getting him there. Points jersey, Arnaud Dalai, or Dali, is one point ahead of uh, <laughs> Martinez, who looks like he's going to win multiple jerseys as things stand. Uh, as for the KOM, it's Brassard ahead of Padoon and Clark. And yes, we do lead the under 25s classification with Sammy Arab, uh, just over a minute ahead of Archie Kennedy, who's an 81 mountain guy but lacks in other areas. Stalker is a minute 46 down. I think he was the leader earlier. Fournier, Davida, uh, Benuna Isaacs, Matoni are all at the edge of the top 10. Samuels is now over the age of 25, finally. Uh, as for team classification, we are fifth in that classification, even bringing our strongest team here through that quick sim just purely on paper we are not in that neighborhood of those top teams stage 17 base of the first of four climbs on the day but the first two are the toughest the setup though <laughs> it's not going to be an easy day at all 150k to go and samuels is on the verge of getting dropped here with a difficult early acceleration in the group we're gonna have to try a little bit harder to hang on but here's what's going to make this day incredibly difficult padoon for one is in the group he's 20th overall uh, that one not as big of a deal same with rivera but fournier 81 mountain pelzari 80 kemp 81 suda 81 hindley well-rounded and 12th overall palace is eighth overall and bernal leads the group at fifth overall with a 78 80 78 even with an 87 effort we just got dropped from the group which does not have a sick significant advantage and we are not climbing 20 kilometers at that tempo will padoon ride with me setting a steady tempo we'll see how that holds up uh, the field has actually sat up a little bit from what they were riding Bernal's already been dropped and he was the the danger man in the group 
Still 17k to go though, so Samuels can only climb so fast. Group rides away. We pull back Clark. Group is disintegrating. We, of course, just to establish the break, went pretty deep, which is one of the key reasons. It's not just tempo. It's about how quickly uh, the group began the stage that has opened up huge, huge gaps out there. Uh, meanwhile, back in the peloton, everybody's doing just fine, but the gaps are getting much larger. This is now six minutes behind. Samuels, I don't mind pulling other guys along with us because if they do make it over the top, we have support. 10k to go. We've gone pretty dang deep. Uh, we can only push so hard so hard now, though. And these guys at 76 are starting to blink a little bit, but they're doing okay. We've left a lot of guys behind. There's still eight at the very front. Simmons, Fournier, I, like really strong riders that are getting dropped here. 61 to 65, I think that's probably a good tempo for us now. That's going to stop us from uh, degrading, and we will establish kind of a secondary chase group here over the next climb. But we still keep dry, dry, dropping off riders one by one. A couple more riders coming together. There's five of us. Only a minute and a half ahead of the peloton now. And the peloton is, they've up tempo. That's why they're starting to drop off riders. Isaacs, go defensive. Benuna, go defensive. It's too early in the day to have these guys going solo. At the front, we're down to a chase group. So now we're the secondary chase group. The first chase group is Palace, who's 8th. Hinley, 12th. And at the front is Kemp, 30th overall. He has just two points. <laughs> He's not in contention for anything. He's, I don't know, trying to go for the stage, I suppose. Uh, 20 seconds ahead of the peloton now is all for that group. Isaacs and Benuna, we've backed off on their tempo to try to help them survive. It's now 2K. Isaacs may not make it. Samuel's still ahead, but just seconds ahead. 1K, and Isaacs is very much at the back. Put him on auto. We might see him again. We might not. Benuda runs out just now. He still had it. Samuels leads over the top. And will now sit up. No reason to attack from here. Especially when he has no energy. Nor does really anybody else. And Isaacs has regained contact. So it's now a peloton of 92. Need water, but Isaacs is not the guy to do it, and unfortunately Isaacs is at the very back, so this is uh, creating a complication for us. There's a another short hill right here before we uh, really, really take the descent on. Isaacs might get dropped actually on this. Uh, Samuel's Arab, we want to get them protection, not Henoke. Start with Samuel's, he needs help recovering. Uh, Benuna. We'll get Arab. Isaacs will get Hinoke if he gets back up there. He's just now getting the water. He's gotten a good amount of recovery, but we're not even halfway down the climb. The small valley in between. The pace was just light enough through that sector that about 20 riders got back on who weren't too far off the back, but it's now a four and a half minute gap to the next chase group. Much too far for them to regain contact. Also, two riders that had been in the break early with Samuels attacked and they're a minute 45 up the road. And meanwhile, the breakaway, the five came back together, rode off together, and they've been allowed to get some distance as we've taken this climb at a much lower tempo than what we did before. But that is not to say that there has not been damage with eight and a half K to go. It's clear that we're far enough into the race and far enough into this climb that the damage is starting to uh, set in. Isaacs, the one who was at the back, who barely, barely rejoined the group and was eventually able to complete the uh, water task for us, is about to be done. But hey, 6k from the top at this point, it looks like he might be the only rider we lose on the first two climbs. Literally, we lost him on both climbs. <laughs> Well, if he does, in fact, go out the back, 5k to go from the top. We'll keep an eye on him. Everybody else seems fine for now. Our pace is not a problem. They're going to make it. 4k to go. It's just Isaacs. Shimwe, 
but knew not I would actually make them go solo for a bit to help them get over the top if it were going to be that type of scenario. But we're looking at three, four guys right here at the back that are uh, about to lose contact. And have. Down to 87 now in the peloton. Front group, those two riders, for one thing, have been caught. Uh, Kemp again on the attack, leaving the other guys behind. We're 700 meters. That's some KOM points guys are going after. Broussard leading by 13 points. Simmons, Padoon, those were guys in the break. They're, they are interested in something in particular, but we've made it over the top of that one. We now have 76 kilometers left to go in the stage. The next two climbs are definitely shorter and easier, but the pain and suffering in the legs is ever present. Uh, Hanoka is not the guy who needs to be protected. 67k. I think we're close enough to get water one final time. And Benuna. Go ahead and get on with it. 75 riders chasing five. Uh, inside three minute gap. They should be caught in that time. There's, I think, going to be a lot more tempo. Uh, with 74 riders here, there's still plenty of teammates, of leaders to set a, a fast tempo and make things uh, difficult down the stretch. Penultimate climb, 9K, 7%. Definitely time to start speeding things up, holding position a little bit more. We will get some recovery on the descent here. And the peloton has shrunk to 64 riders now. And the gap to the front is just 218. Definitely higher tempo this time. You can see it doing a lot more damage and rapidly. And we're not losing ground on a 78, so let's go ahead and back off, back down to... Uh, actually even further to about a 75 allow them to drift a little bit with 64 you can't drift much definitely drift some okay getting a more of an acceleration can't drift as fast anymore so up to a 77 down to 61 riders to a 78 we're definitely trailing off towards the back end but we're also 1k from the top front group is all split up a little more again. Don't want to get tailed off here at the top. There you go. There you go. That was good. We still have our full team. And the Peloton's down to 51. We're going to have a big false flat here, though. This is the type of sector that really, really does damage to our team. More so than uh, other teams. Stamina, flat ratings tend to be worrisome and these tend to be high tempo and you see that the recovery was anything but complete because of the short descent through there so again trying to back off as much as we can to just hold our position not that it's actually making a difference but you can see the heart rate is pretty high through here uh, let's go ahead and well not yet not for not before the climb one minute to the front five they came back together yet again Shimway will not last long once we hit the climb, and we are 20, click, 20 clicks from the finish. Uh, we have uh, 12k for the climb at 6% average. Max is 8.9. Uh, I'd love to sprint train that thing, but I don't think we're quite up to that task just yet as uh, Maurice attacks and changes his mind. It might have just been water. Might have just been water to uh, Davida and Johannes Dalek, who are working at the front. Tempo has lifted. But it's six minutes other than one rider in No Man's Land, so we've got a huge gap there. This is allowing recovery for leaders. If we get recovered on Arab, I, I think we would put our foot down earlier. And the way things are going... I think we want to put our foot down earlier. A Shimwe gel. Now there's an acceleration here before the climb. Big acceleration. Look at those heart rates. They've gone up by uh, about 25 beats in a minute. 50 chasing 5. 13k. A Shimwe gel kicks in. We want a Benuna. We are drifting just a little bit right now, but this is setting us up just last two off the front. Coming up on 10k, Banuna gel. 
Now Matoni, we're going to gel for him. Numbers are decreasing. We are drifting, but we're over one of the steepest sectors right now. And here comes the first acceleration. 9k to go. Uh, okay, okay. 9k. Uh, this is like 83 kind of territory, I think. Samuels, Henoke. Let's see, Matoni is right there. Benona is right beside him. Oh, okay. Shimwe is just getting dropped. 37 left. Uh, we will go gently at first with a Benuna type. Down to 36, chasing four that just escaped. Benona and Matoni are just about to get dropped, both of them. We're going to set what tempo I think we can climb at for seven and a half kilometers. Henoke's done. Leave him behind. Samuel's now climbing at an 83. Gel for uh, Arab. We're taking more riders, making our way forward. At Eatfelt. And Samuel's is done. Arab, 1.6. I think he can maybe muster a 86, 87 through this. We're down to just a few guys left ahead of us. 700 meters. Avenipole has won the stage. 400 meters. Sixth on the stage. That's that's a big plus for us for where we've been. Very big plus for where we've been. Samuels is also going to snag a top 10 on the stage. That's going to help his position quite a bit. And Henok is going to maybe have a top 20. He might be just short of it. Nope, he does. 19th. So Arab loses one minute to the leader, 145 for Samuels, but overall that's going to be really solid time gains over others around us in the standings, and Arab jumps three spots to best of the rest. There's your top five. All finished top five today and pulled away. you got a four-minute gap to second. You've got an eight-minute gap to fourth, just a few seconds separating Ayuso and Martinez, and then a three-minute, exactly a three-minute gap to Arab from fifth to sixth. We are as high as we could possibly finish in this race with how things are going. But we're ahead of a guy like Godu, who's, you know, 82 mountain base and 80 stamina. Just insane quality. Samuels is up to 18th. Still well down. I would still love to get him in a break that has a chance. But unfortunately, we've got a couple guys uh, joining the breakaways of late that are ranked way too high. Uh, like Bernal, but Bernal lost a ton of time today. He was fifth. He was fifth overall. He's now 37th, 41 minutes behind. That's what happens if you push too hard at blow up. <laughs> Stage 18 had a wild start. Initially, I put Samuels in the breakaway, and when I quickly realized that five riders in the top 12 from 7th to 12th, pretty much that entire group, were all in the breakaway. I went ahead and attacked with Sammy Arab as well, initially getting away, initially being in position. And then two things quickly happened while the chase was still very much on uh, from the peloton, and you can see how the peloton has already blown up to an extent. The breakaway was approaching the top of the KOM, that Cat 2 KOM, which plenty of riders were interested in that one. They were preparing to attack, and we were positioned just fine. But then uh, Mason Samuels punctured. Arab, who caught the group a little bit later, I guess he wasn't really positioned just fine. He was towards the tail end. And uh, as the attack began, 
his poor position combined with Mason Samuels just recovering from a puncture just off the back suddenly put us in a position where it didn't make sense to write on. So Dylan Isaacs, I had him set up, come back, protect Arab and Samuels. And they ended up coming back, back to the Peloton together and now a much smaller breakaway, which had near 30 riders, is suddenly down to 15. Unfortunately, that only brought back a couple of of the other riders who are also in the top of the standings. So a lot of those 15 are in the top 15 overall. There's a good f four of them, maybe, out of the those 15 riders, a lot of those regular breakaway guys. But we definitely don't want to see this break get out to too big of a lead today. We have gone ahead and recovered, but it's already used up a fair bit of energy with 151K left to go. Breakaway was getting too far away, so I'm going to use Isaacs to pull it back a little bit, keep them in check. We cannot have those guys gaining time on us today. It was quickly out to three and a half minutes. Isaacs riding towards the top of this second climb is putting them under some pressure, but especially uh, keeping them and their gap at bay. Uh, we had it down to a, a minute and a half pretty quickly before the attack, where you can see it's back out to three minutes anyway, but this way we're weakening the group by having uh, a number of them pulled back uh, and suddenly we have 11 guys that's being chased down and now it's just 76 in the peloton it looks like there's another 17 very very close here but uh, we can now sit up uh, and noke back to protecting samuels we're getting our recovery now we've already gotten water we should be good for for a while yet we're heading up the delo del uh de los stelvio paso de los Stev stelvio 25 24.9 kilometers at 7.3 percent we're already down to 63 the front group is already just starting to disintegrate and only a minute and a half ahead they are going to get swallowed up here pretty quick but we've barely started the climb we're 4k in and really really struggling here tempo wise i think we want to do something similar to what we did last stage and back off a little bit uh stick together climb our tempo down to 60. isaacs and noke a shimwe gel for them front group nearly caught last 11 riders there and contact has been made there's an acceleration from a handful of riders now thinking about attacking 14k from the top still. And Oaks out the back. Ooh, hello. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold the, fo the phone. Uh, that is Banuna to lead out. Arab has a zero today. He's got a minus four draw. Um, not helping. Not not helping. Uh, Shimwe is fine at the front. We've got Matoni and Samuels. Samuels is the weaker man today, but he's eight. Okay, now Matoni doing the dirty work. 12k to go. Oh gosh, he's he's in the best shape. Thanks to the race day condition. We're down to 43, but I mean, look what's about to happen. Even just climbing Matoni 75 and down the line, he's still fading. He's still fading. Uh, we've got to change this. This is not going to work. We ride for the leader. We have to ride for the leader. So doing that means doing this. We're about to get dropped, and today is the day we lose a bunch of time. We want to stick together. 17 minutes down 11. Six minutes, there could be that in today's stage, but there's another time trial coming. Front group disintegrating. Let's check in on what's going up there, but leave it on pause because there's too much at, at stake here. This is a lot of those breakaway riders. That's that's how bad of a day we're having on a zero. Godu has been dropped. He's eighth. 
and he lacks support around him. There's Palace. He was in the break. He was the highest ranked guy in the break, so he's been passed up. Ayuso, fourth overall, has been dropped. Uh, Kennedy was also in the break. And then here's the front four. Wells, there's a Venipol. Rambilla, 10th, and Martinez doing the work. That feels weird. There's Danny Martinez, who's now fifth, and Pagatcher, third. So most of what's ahead of us isn't that far ahead of us, uh, but the ones that are pretty far ahead for the most part are the front five or guys that are very much out of contention. So uh, this is a disaster, but it's also not as bad as it seems. Just depends on how much worse it gets over the next four kilometers. Staying in this group gives us a real chance. We've got the largest group out here, but we are two minutes from those eight riders ahead. We've been caught by one guy who's outpacing, and you can see we're just barely hanging on to this thing. That one guy has up the tempo. They've already caught the next group ahead of them, but our group has thin. Now we've caught back up. So it's really just that few guys that went clear, and we're over the top. We're already starting to recover. We cannot afford to get dropped here. It's 35k to go still. And then check in once again. So, Reiner Inc., it was Hindley who came riding through, by the way. Hindley was the one who was on the attack there, split us off, caught a few of those guys who were up ahead. There's your chase group of eight still together. There's your group of four still together, and there's your one and two still ahead. So what was that? Six, eight, and four. So we got 18 riders up the road right now. We are just inside top 20. A f handful of those riders are non-consequential kind of guys. Uh, we have got to recover. So this is not one of those attack the descent type scenarios. We have got to get some recovery in. Yeah, even that's not a good tempo. He's still recovering. Let's get him riding a bit harder, huh? Backing off a little bit as things are flattening out somewhat. Okay, we got a few guys ready to ride now. I don't even know if he's going to get back up. He's already 30 seconds behind. Uh, obviously, we're going to sit. And we'll send Banuna back on the wait. Banuna's not coming back. Arab's back up. But now, like, we're not in a place to ride hard. Hey. All for the leader, folks. All for the leader. Those guys sat up without us riding. So now we have a group of 14 again. Chasing five. So that's the five behind that caught, essentially. We just dropped one rider. Okay, we do have others riding with us. There's five just ahead of us, but we, we lost at least a minute uh, out of that. But the 550 gap is actually down to four minutes. So we're closer than we were. And it's the base of the climb. 10k to go to the top. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Back in contact. And, and... Holy crap, that front group just got caught up here by Banuna. That front group sat up and just got caught. This is all that's left off the front. You've got three guys here and Ayuso. Like, what happened to Pagacher? Wow, okay. Um, with 7K to go. With 7K to go. Holy cow, this, this is a wild wild race uh, Matoni climb gradually move up come across to your teammates and 
old. Terrible condition for Arab with 7k to go. So this is not this is not attack. This is now minimize losses that are now minimized, but minimize the the distinct possibility that there's going to be yet further losses. So Matoni just gradually start pulling us up there into a stronger position. There's Benuna. And Benuna will now take over the ride duties, pull back those last three guys. 6.4k. Ride is 73. 38 riders chasing one. It's all back together. Holy crap. 5.5k. Arab looking very weak. When there's an attack here at the end, he will be in trouble. But this sort of tempo setting will put the group under enough pressure that they won't just simply attack Arab. Watching Arab most of all. He's well positioned. He's got a few guys ahead of him in line, giving him some extra protection. And he's barely feeling this one right now with the tempo. But he's just weak. And we've caught the front guy. It's all together. It's all together. Benuna is the highest place rider. We're 1.7 to the top, by the way. So we're looking at sprint territory for the end. 1K. 1K from the top and then a sprint. Benuna looks good for that part, but... I don't think we're going to contest. There, there's guys that have high 70s for sprint, and we just do not have something along those lines. But here is the top. Maximum points, not a matter that I care about at all. We're not in the top 10 at all. And, ooh. Okay, sprint. I didn't realize it was not only leveling off. We're not going to win the sprint anyway, but um, I probably could have done more than I attempted to do. Pagatra takes it ahead of Martinez and Wells, and we are not losing time. <laughs> and just 13 here. There's separation. There's separation. <laughs> Holy cow, we're gaining time? That, that is uh, absolute insanity right there. And all four of our guys get same time as Pagadger. Never mind that they got time bonuses. I really didn't think we were capable of sprinting. And actually, the good thing about what happened in the end there was Arab ran out of energy before the finish line, would have lost time, if not for the fact that Samuels and Matoni and Benuna were all, uh, Benuna were all right there with him, trailing up a group crossing the line together. So actually, that worked out really well that we didn't sprint earlier. Uh, I was looking at the what-ifs and... It's not like we're going to win that stage and beat Pagatcher and his, you know, 72 sprint with 80 acceleration. Uh, like, it's not happening. Uh, anyway, 17 seconds to a chase group that ended up losing, well, 17 seconds, nothing big. Uh, but then all of a sudden, 2.30 to guys like Padoon and Kemp. Uh, six minutes just behind that. So... Big, big time losses for some. And remember, the breakaway got caught, got passed, and some of them are going to lose significant time. Uh, you can see Palace is the first one to lose significant time, though, but Moss also losing quite a bit of time. Uh, Van Eetveld losing quite a bit of time. Otherwise, a lot of the top positions staying the same. Samuels up to 16th, and Arab has a minute advantage over Paulus and Godou. A couple thereabouts over Kennedy. And yeah, we're still exactly three minutes behind those guys ahead of us. Uh, that stage could have been an absolute disaster in like three different ways. Arab did not have the race day condition, was not feeling it, was not there. We dropped three guys to help support him. Like he was set to lose a lot of time. He was 550 behind. We were six minutes down. Then he goes down. We drop behind. We pick him up. Then Mutoni goes down. The strongest guy in the bunch. The one guy who was really feeling well. Yes, the other, the fourth guy was also on a plus five, but he was a weak climber. His plus five just made him eh, acceptable. Mutoni was a plus five and good, making him pretty dang strong. And see just what a difference. Mutoni uh, would have been in a very, very different position than you know, if he wasn't restricted to supporting his leader. But the fact that we overcame all three of those challenges and a 550 gap, and then at the very end, get separation behind us to even gain 17 seconds, very minor, but to gain time 
over a number of the rivals that are in that top 20. It's like, that was crazy and could not have gone much better for us than it did. Almost two minutes ahead of Kennedy now and over six to anybody else, Sammy Arab could be claiming that young rider's classification for this race. Uh, if he could hang on to sixth place, and if he can claim that, I think that is a serious victory for us, especially considering how sped up things have been and how on, what, on five stages, six stages, he's had a, a pretty nasty negative draw on three of them. And we've had to limit losses. So that being said, uh, this is going about as well as one could hope. There's a couple stages still to go, but we are out of time for this one. So it'll roll, roll over into the next episode, and then we'll quickly be getting into the Tour de France. Maybe a little overlap between the two, but uh, it is what it is on that part. We do what we've got to do to keep things pushing along quickly, and we're definitely pushing things along quickly, where it's typically a five to six episode full Grand Tour. We're going to do it in two and a partial. That's good timing. Uh, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.